Welcome, Leopard fans, to Inside the Huddle. I'm Mike Joseph, and we are back this week heading out to Lewisburg, Pennsylvania to face the Bucknell Bison. The last time we were in Buck at Bucknell, a 27-24 uh, loss by the Leopards in overtime. Let's hope it gets that close and we can use Jacob Bissell maybe to turn the tides this week. The check down I want to talk about this week. A way Lafayette can slow down what I think is the strongest point of the Bucknell defense, and that basically is the interior two linemen as well as the defensive line. We have struggled a little bit in long distance situations where we get a pass rush, maybe get a game going on up front. We struggle a little bit when teams know we have to throw the ball, they can pin their ears back. A way to take some of that pressure off in say first and 10 or maybe second and eight, second and seven, is to run some check downs. Basically use our backs and our underneath receivers to get into a pattern where they can catch the ball and maybe get some yards after catch. Bucknell runs a very similar defense, that 4-2-5. So we're going to get some sort of a zone coverage back here. And Bucknell has always been susceptible to passes in the flat and things underneath. So if we can get a pass rush and they get upfield, we can maybe get a little circle route by CJ or uh, Deshaun Brown coming out of the backfield. Or maybe a slide route, something to get their, the hand, the ball in their hands a little bit quicker. So as we get pass drops, we get a roll, we get something from the, the linebackers getting out, getting depth, creating that separation between where a linebacker ends up and the rush of the tackles and the noses, there's a large area to work with. So a little circle route coming back underneath, maybe a squirrel route where you work inside. This opens things up for a guy like Dylan Wadsworth to work the middle of the field. Whether it's there, clear out, bring Barazic underneath, and on the same th side again, maybe Joey Chenoweth with a little bit of a drag. So the check down area, the pass drop, the pass protection here, drawing people upfield, creating a little bit of a void in these areas, including the flats on the outside. I think Lafayette can make a living underneath. So check down doesn't mean just basically not throwing the ball downfield, which it means is replacing that void or that zone in the defense where, where really Bucknell has struggled, I think, underneath coverage and in the flats, allowing guys like Morozik with 50 catches this year and guys like out of the backfield, C.J. Emil and also uh, Deshaun Brown to allow them to work, catch the ball in space. What this allows you to do is take the passing game into a check down running game. So Lafayette, we know, has struggled to run the football different ways to do that. The check down game can become a big running after catch possibility for Lafayette in Lewisburg. We'll see you there.